It's my feel good breakfast show. A feel good breakfast show this morning because we're giving you advice on life, and that's so amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on this Monday morning. We're talking about single parent dating. We're going to our phone line straight away. Oh eight three nine one three three seven two eight. Is it from Mitchell's plane? What's your question or comment? Hi, good morning to you. Good morning. What's your Hi. comment? All right, um, just a quick question. Yes. I've been divorced now for seven years. Mm. Um, my son is 11, my daughter's 10 years old. Um, my ex husband has gone on with his life. I've gone on with my life. But the problem I'm sitting with is that there is absolutely no relationship since he's been dating. That bond has been just cut. Um, I still go to the constant verbal abuse from him. He doesn't spend the quality time with the kids as much as he should. Um, when it comes to questions about the education, about him being involved, um, you know, with the kids, with the daily lives, or whatever the case may be, then it's abuse. He just doesn't you want to do anything. There is absolutely no love. And I sit with kids that go to him on, on his weekend, but they come back and I must do repair damage because they are miserable. They are upset because mm -hmm. all they did was, Mommy, we had to sit and watch TV. We had to play Xbox, whatever. Absolutely no relationship. Mm -hmm. What do I do and how do I get around this? Because my problem is how is it affecting them mm -hmm. and how is it going to affect them for the rest of their lives? And how do I get him to at least play that fatherly role? Mm -hmm. I can't force him, but at least, you know, do it for the children. Is it? Thank you so much for opening up on the show this morning. Dr. Eve's going to answer your question. All right. Thank you so thank much you. for calling thank us you this very morning. Much. What to do? I have one comment for Izette. It's time for her to get divorced. Mm. She's not let go yet. She's hanging on to this ex husband of hers. And I know you're going to defend that and say you're not, but you are, Izette. You have expectations of him that you can still tell him what to do and you can still, I'm not saying control him, but you can still manage him and get him to be the man that you wanted him to be. Remember, that's why you divorced him, because yes. he, isn't the man, he isn't the man that you wanted him to be. Mm -hmm. And yes. he's not going to be. Yes. You're breaking your heart because you're expecting him to still be a dad and a husband yeah. that you want him to be. You've got to cut it. That's one of the difficulties of divorce. You will yes. have a relationship with him, but you really have to stop trying to regulate and control him. He can't abuse you. He can't keep hurting you. Stop yeah. setting yourself up for that. Mm -hmm. You've got to break contact with him a lot more than what you're doing right now. Okay. Thank you so much for answering his question. I want to go yes. back to, oh, there, I have so many questions and we, we yeah. run out of time, Dr. Yeah. Eve. Yeah, yeah. Co-parenting, all the rest. You need a blog. I do have a blog. Oh, Please you do? Get, of course I do. Get onto my site. Okay. Get onto my Facebook. I've already posted this question there. Okay. People, get onto my Facebook at Dr. Thank you, Dr. Eve, Dr. Eve and for joining us this conversation. morning. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We talked about co-parenting and pe single parenting relationships. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Over to the rest of the team.